Matter of fact, can you get those boxes out the bag? I don't want you to have to uh, smell this chicken. I win everything. Everything. But I can't tell her nothing. <laughs> I, I try, I try to tell her. Chicken! <laughs> Jenkins are off to his vet appointment. My face is so dry this morning. It went from feeling like summertime to back to winter. It's cold out here. Headed to the vet because they want to check and make sure he doesn't have some kind of dry eye disease. It's always something with this old dog. I do like that with this vet. The actual vet does call me to talk about him, but I can still tell there's a disconnect between her and the text and you know, what's being done. But yeah, this is my last week, y'all. I have like a week and a day before I head to Houston. Um, you know, the Dow has been in full effect as of like last night. I think if I just think about it too much, it just kind of goes bad. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of know why, but then at the same time, it's like at this point, I done made a decision, girl. Like, let's just go with it, get over it. It's not that big of a deal. You're a grown adult. So the bottom of my car fell out. Like, it didn't fall out. So apparently, supposedly, it was hanging. Somebody, I had somebody take my car to get an oil change and they called me and was like, hey, um, it's a piece hanging at the bottom of your car. And I'm thinking like, I don't recall no piece hanging at the bottom of my car. But you know, I'm not one to accuse nobody of nothing. So I was like, well, what is it? They were like, oh, it's the piece by your tire. So I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. But uh, I just told him to go ahead and tell them like they can't fix it just pull it off so they were like we can't fix it so they pulled it off mind you i'm thinking it's like some like little piece it's a whole like it's like half the shape of my car like the whole bottom of my car it was just out it had been in my truck for like a couple weeks now uh, i think he asked if i wanted to keep it but now i'm thinking about like why would i not want to keep that giant piece from my car but um i finally look at my trunk just last week and was like <laughs> it's a big piece of car but um, they took it off so now I gotta uh, go somewhere and get it put back on before I leave um, so that's one less thing I gotta worry about but yeah the list just keeps piling up of things that I need to do like you mean yeah I just overthink things and I'm just thinking of you know so every now and then I get into the space of just thinking of all that could go wrong and um, I keep like trying to envision myself not even trying to I keep envision myself in the apartment and whereas like you know when I made the decision to move and ever since then the the vision has been beautiful like it's been like sunny and bright in my imagination spacious I'm having a good old time by myself in my own space my own apartment me and Jenkins just chilling I'm walking Jenkins every day twice a day soaking in the Houston Sun I'm putting together furniture and you know setting up my balcony real nice like, i've been most excited about my balcony because um i just always wanted a balcony i didn't i was just telling my sister like i didn't realize what luxury was when you think of a luxury apartment you think of like a penthouse with like floor to ceiling windows and all that i mean you live in la luxury is having a dishwasher luxury is having in-unit laundry luxury is um having a, a balcony for sure so for me to have all that stuff in houston like it took me a minute to realize like you know when i was in la this is like my dream space like it's my dream apartment when i was in la and because i've been home for a while um at my daddy house <laughs> i kind of forgot the struggle i guess you could say just being worried out there that I wouldn't make rent. And I was just in a studio apartment. And now I'm getting like a, a full one bed, a one bedroom is luxury for me at this point. It's good to like reminisce back on how I felt back then and to see myself progressing to where, not only am I about to get my own place, but like what I'm doing in order to make the money for that is like, I didn't see this. All these opportunities, like everything good that happens to me, like I don't, 
I see it happening, but the timeline don't be what it actually is. And it used to be like I expected things to happen a lot faster, but like I got once I got out of college, that didn't last long. I learned real quick that this whole timeline thing and thinking that I'm gonna have this by this age, like that's not real. Like I think we all gotta go through that. Like it can be real for some, but generally you can't really plan out when things are gonna work out for you. So I kind of learned to, you know, just be patient and just go with the flow. You know, you can't rush things. Things are gonna happen in due time when they're meant to happen. But I still can, you know, I'm blessed enough to say that when things happen, I did not expect them to happen that soon. So why am I worried about Houston? I don't know. CJ and his draws all excited. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up, man. <laughs> he pressed because his stock's up. I'm up. <laughs> I don't make $2,000. Daddy said you up $2. <laughs> uh, so, hey, Uncle Glenn, I told Uncle Glenn. You know? Look, you ain't bad sex to yourself. Um, you better sell it. I ain't selling it. No, it's going to $20. Okay. You better cash it in, take it to take his wedding. I got trash. Who Why? got dishes then? I got the flow. Jakia got dishes. Yeah, she got this. So you had well, dishes. I forgot the trash. Why are you so hyped this morning, CJ? Making money, man. CJ got in on some stocks. I see the show on that. Yeah, but like, they're about to get on my nerves. Okay, yeah. see money. Volume was down. <laughs> if he went to, if he make to a five thousand dollar a day, you gonna have to tie him down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I gotta tie you down. You going crazy? <laughs> but it can go down just as fast as it went. It up. can, but it could just keep going up. Cause <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about selling when I hit even, but it just could keep going. It was about to take off like a rocket. If he would have stayed, if he would have kept it when he bought at five dollars. Dang, he bought it he at probably, $5 and sold it. He probably would have made over $10,000 today. I'm telling you, he, but, yeah, but I can't that. tell him nothing. <laughs> you, I, I try, I try to tell him. We making money, man. You can make money and still call Coach Rich. We making money, man. What, what do I gotta do to call Coach Rich? Mexico, Bora Bora Bali. Where you wanna go? <laughs> Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah, Africa. But it's always amazing. Brazil. Where they making a little money, they act like a fool. That's, you know, that's rich. That's a rich man this talk right there. Money. <laughs> look, look, hey, you, you make fifteen hundred a day. How old are you? You don't know. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh huh. Y'all told me about some mutual fund. I'm trying to make some quick bucks, man. <laughs> man, do them dishes. See, quick bucks. And they come by the 19, you know where we at? We were sitting on the moon like bro in the movie with the fishing rod. Oh, okay. Oh, you need to do the stairs last week. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, CJ? <laughs> I always bought it. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just so random. I always bought it to the job on the new company you made there. He just said it's so random. Well, you might as well get used to it. Look, I did my last look, week of this. Hey, he could have said, yes, I did. But he couldn't even say it. I was thinking, I was thinking like, dang. When, when Kia texted me, I'm like, this about to be the reality soon. Uh-huh. Jasmine about it. Stevie J <laughs> like, Hamra. Oh, Ooh, what they going to do without me? Same thing, y'all. No, nothing you do, y'all. Wait a minute. Damn. Somebody might put a dirty fork. Who, who did the dishes? Me? But you ain't paying your job. I know it. I know it. I know no, wait a minute. Spend some times. I got the dishes and it won't unload it now. Not, not from me. From kids, not from me. Not from me. That's for three. Look, look, look. Kia, what's in there? That's how much you put in there? Yeah. Ooh, y'all trust hey, me. You, you and the gentleman there. No. Y'all sure hey, don't trust me. Hey, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't have enough cameras for CJ oh today. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be off the wall. If he had SOS. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. It ain't too late. <laughs> so I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful.
for today Take this music and use it Let it take you away What are we saying with you, girl? I know. Keep come come into my room, look. You know look, 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 leaving the two laziest <laughs> grandkids here that don't want to do. Shit. No, you. <laughs> uh, Wait, so I'm the least laziest? Yep. Yeah. Someday. I'll something. take it. The thing about me though, I'm lazy. <laughs> I do complain, but I don't be worrying about what other people doing. That's cause you don't be doing that. Can you be like? <laughs> But CJ, but CJ don't, but CJ, I'm like, man, we supposed to be on a team. Yeah, it should be teamwork. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I got her going. <laughs> All right, y'all, before I go to bed, I just want to talk to you really quick about, uh, I don't know if I told y'all this already. I don't think I did, but I feel like I'm really, like, getting to, like, I don't even know the word for it. I'm really like coming into myself in a way. Like I feel like I'm in a mindset where things are just really happening for me without me even trying. Like it's so crazy. I feel like I've been here before, um, really before the pandemic. And then I'd say back in like September around my birthday, um, it started happening again where I was just like feeling good about what I was doing and I like was on a mission and I didn't even like once my mind was set to do something I didn't even have to try too hard like things just like lined up for me like so perfectly but yeah I just feel like it's like confirmation for me like I don't even have to be worried about whether things are gonna work out because regardless of if they happen how I play in my head or not somehow like things are really just working out and i'm not even trying hard like i don't i feel like i want to figure out like what exactly am i doing right that's making this happen so i'm still trying to figure that out but i feel like the biggest thing is just the mindset that i'm in and like what i'm focused on what i'm giving my energy to and just by like putting that out there thinking about it working on it a little bit not a whole lot but working on it a little bit and it's really making things happen for me so, you know, when I start, you know, going hard, it's about to be crazy. All right, y'all, look at this. This big old piece that goes under my car. So I'm going to go get it put back on. All right, so the bottom of my car is back on. So we back in business, baby. I can start loading up my car. And get this show on the road. I'm a little concerned that I haven't heard from the car shipping people. Like, I feel like they should have booked somebody by now. So if I don't hear anything today, I'm gonna have to give them a call. Be like, what's going on? Because the last time I shipped my car, I'm so mad that if anybody knows a Fletcher who deals with like dispatching uh, for car transport or something, let me know. I can't remember the name of this man's company, but Fletcher was good, and then he just ghosted me. Last time I called, the number was had changed or somebody else had it or something. Um, but he did a good job. But now I have to just use these random companies. And the last time, the last company I used when I was leaving LA, they were supposed to come one day and I didn't hear anything from them. And then the guy was like, okay, well, I can't come to the neighborhood. You got to meet me somewhere. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be there. So... Give me my case. I just thought about it last night. So I'm leaving Tuesday. You better get your own. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaving Tuesday. You leaving? Tuesday is like my last that. day. I know. Nobody does. <laughs> but yeah, so he was like, he couldn't come into the neighborhood with the truck, which, you know, I get because usually they want you to meet them at Walmart. But I had to let them know, like, I'm not going to be there. So I think he ended up having to get, like, some other kind of truck to drive it to the truck or something. I don't know. What's wrong, Max? Hmm? You thought I was gone for good? Max, you going to be sad when I leave? Hmm? I've only been gone a few minutes and you acting sad now. I think Jenkins not even care with you. Oh, he smelled me. Jenkins. What do you think of Jenkins? 
They were just sitting here high. Y'all, I'm gonna took vanilla? all the Atkin shakes. Where's I, the vanilla? I just put in. A, it was only four vanilla. It's a big old thing of chocolate. <laughs> look, at it, look at the shame on her face. I'm not ashamed. She done took all the Atkin shakes and put it upstairs, trying to hide them in her refrigerator. Cause they're mine. No, they're not. Okay. I put them on the list. Let me tell her daddy so we can talk about you. Yeah, you heard it. Why she done hit him up there? Yes, all of them. <laughs> The audacity. And she knows she don't need all these. Oh, Jenkins, I was gonna try to scare you. Let's go to bed. Let's go. Go, go lay down. Go. So I keep forgetting about vlogging. I really forget today. But um, mommy just won her competition. Congratulations. I win everything, everything. Whoa. I never lose, ever, mm. ever. <laughs> like just like your mom. Contest at work. I can win everything. I'm gonna win that tournament when we go fishing. So of course yeah, I haven't been packing. Um, I've been trying to answer emails <laughs> all morning. I don't know why this takes so long. <laughs> well, change it. Don't put it on the tape. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop <laughs> putting his business out in the streets. <laughs> Man, that hurt <laughs> smells good. Yeah, that hurt Jenkins gonna bite one of y'all. But what? It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but he still he still got the big teeth yeah, now. He got the big the big uh He made uh Max bleed, didn't he? He bit him? Yeah. I'm what? sure he said he was bleeding all over the place. Mm -hmm. Then he gonna lick his blood off the bed like a real savage. Mm. <laughs> See what's cooking. What's cooking, good looking? That's some mashed potatoes. Ah. Are these from scratch? Yeah. Nice. Ah. Fried pork chop. Got in here. String beans, fresh. How much I owe you? You gonna be paying for the whole thing? How much I owe you? Like ten dollars? You to get a reaction? No, <laughs> I'm serious. How much I owe you? Look, you told Jasmine, because he told Kim, uh huh, you wanna get a small piece, they get a large. You got a salad. I said I wasn't paying for nothing. Oh, I forgot that part. See how they do me? See, I got to provide for no, my family. I got the whole family on my back. Look, just take my mind and fortify it all. And just don't send me jack. Yeah, they just keep the food up. <laughs> Leave the food out and go to bed. The whole family on my back. It's too much pressure. Do the nails on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally started packing, and then I found my um, hair beads that I bought not too long ago, and uh, that's what I've been doing. Probably the past hour or two. Never fails. I always get distracted. End up doing something else. You need to go out. Want to go out? He's trying to run away from me, so I try to clean his ear. Little Jenkins is over here, knocked out. In Max's bed. Can you go watch Max? No. Unless you wear my slippers last night. So? I can't wear my slippers. <laughs> Y'all hear the type of bartering she does with me? How do you do that challenge where you like walk in a place? Like. <laughs> Stop, don't put me in the Show, show them what you say about how I'm dressed. I look. <laughs> you look, you got to be like. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> Sadly, like a Jabberwocky. But I got this <laughs> it's the outfit I got on, y'all. Yeah. She's trying to clown me for, huh? Anywho, this is what I got on today. I got this from, um, I did a try on haul. Oh, look at that. We'll work on that when I get to Houston. Romley. And then my shoes. These are Vapor Maxes. I do look like I'm about to bust out some choreography. Leave me alone. Kia, give me your case. Okay. I'm done. I'm done with the nonsense. This guy borrows my case every week and keeps it the whole week until I finally you say, give me my She's... case. What, what she said? I just used him to the export. Exactly, I told you to bring it back the same day. I so I can charge my headphones too. Can you come back with food? You want can I see the case? No, no. Kia, what are you doing with that? I need to charge my headphones. Nah, because you think you're man. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I need music. Why are you just giving them a case? Because you realize please. AirPods are a luxury. Like, you don't have to have them. No. Yes, I do. <laughs> no. Get you a Bluetooth. <laughs> Should I make sure ain't nobody leaving you? Oh, we got Lido. Girl, why are you even saying that? We. That's how all pizza looks when it's left over. Stop holding it like that. It's going to break off and hit the floor. Now, you'll be real mad. Come here. And that's gonna be your share. You ain't getting no more. Come here. <laughs> you better not touch me with that crusty pizza. <laughs> oh, you just touched the camera. <laughs> as soon as I grab a coat or a purse or something, here he comes. You not going? You are not going. All right, y'all, we're headed out. It's raining. I think Marilyn is crying for me because they know I'm leaving. Y'all, why well, um, I posted about me reaching 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and immediately lost like four followers. <laughs> what does that mean? I get so offended when I lose like one follower or one subscriber. Um, even though I know like I shouldn't be taking it that personal, it's kind of hard not to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I try to stay about my feelings about all this stuff because in the grand scheme of things, it really don't matter. I lose three, gain four, gain ten, you know? As long as it's going up overall, mm -hmm. I'm good. So I'm trying to do better with my words. Like, this has always been a thing that I know I needed to do. But, you know, sometimes it's virtual on the brain, sometimes it's not. But I want to stop saying even things that, like, I don't really consider negative. But I just want to, you know, speak good things into my life and be proactive in that way so instead of saying like i need some money i'll say something like man i'm about to make so much money i got so much money coming my way like i don't even know about all the money that's coming my way but i know it's coming i don't know where it's from but i know it's coming to me and it's coming soon and fast all right i'm about to run into walmart and see if they got my stuff and i need to get some benadryl for i be wanting to call this dog cj all the time Jenkins I don't know why I get their names mixed up it's a lot easier than expected so um I don't know what happened to my stuff but all I did was walk over to the service desk and she just told me asked me if I had my receipt I showed it to her and she said just go get the stuff that I left and she replaced it yeah I was about to be mad because I bought these the turtle ones and when I went and looked in the same spot, it's like they never existed. Like, it's not even a section for them. So, clearly, they sold out and restocked on some other stuff. But I looked, like, three times, and I came back and looked again, and it was one single. This is probably my box, y'all. One box that was just sitting on top, like somebody was trying to hide it. But I found it, though. Here are the um, lashes I got. I think they're cute. I think... Why they got dirt on it? Walmart is just so ghetto. But anyway, my point was, I'm surprised that she just let me come in there and just replace it, because I could have been lying. And then I was feeling like a thief. Like, you know how you was talking about how you get nervous that people don't think you're stealing? Yeah, and they got that check you ever Girl, seen you should have seen my, first of all, I don't know why I didn't, because I had to buy some Benadryl, and she said I had to buy that at the register and then come over there. I don't know why I didn't just buy the Benadryl walk out the store and come back in because I still I had the receipt for like what I was getting it was just the old receipt so I try to go through them gates like you know how they had the gates at the front 
-hmm. and you can only come in you can't go out so i try to walk through and of course it started closing probably because i hesitated started closing as i was walking through so i was like oh and then it started buzzing <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> like I was still in something. But then no, the, it sounds like I would have had a full little panic attack. But and there was a white guy standing at the door who's obviously like loss prevention, just trying to make sure which is an old guy, so I don't even know why he would have that job. But that man didn't even budge. He ain't even look my way or nothing. Like he just hear that noise. And I heard it again when I left and he ain't do nothing. I was like, they don't even be doing that for real. So then this other guy was walking through the gate, so I just walked through. And went over to the counter and got the stuff. And then my dumb butt, instead of walking out the entrance, I'm not going to say I'm dumb, but just overly cautious. Instead of walking out the entrance, I was like, let me go around. So I went back in the store, went through the self-checkout area, and then went out. And then stood there because the lady was looking at this other, other lady's receipt. And the other people walking past me. So I was finally like, do you need to see mine? She was like, you can go ahead. Say, I'm doing the most, but I just did not want to be looking like yeah, nothing. Yeah, I'm the same way. Look at Raekwon. Talking about, is it too get him late? Get help you. That's what I was about to say. Oh, okay. Even though I ain't get him no food. <laughs> What's the food? Oh, hey. And you always be all delayed. Stop smoking. <laughs> Matter of fact, can you get those boxes out the bag? I don't want you to have to smell this chicken. <laughs> you got it? Your hand ain't through the thing, I is it? got it. You better not drop my chicken trying to be petty. I saw some um, ear pies at the little Parcel Plus place. I was about to buy you some. But don't buy me. I don't win knockoffs, man. Right now, I'm doing laundry. I have been um, taking care of a check to make sure I actually have an apartment. So that's been confirmed. Now I have to get... Um, well, I got a renter, rental insurance. Apparently, renter's insurance is like a requirement. So I took care of that. Did that through Geico. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out what electric plan I should go with. They have a suggested one, the complex does, but I wanna shop around and make sure I'm getting a good deal because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using a lot of electricity. Even though I knew this after the ice storm, that's how I found out that Texas has like a deregulated or unregulated, whatever word it is, um, their electric grid or whatever it is deregulated so that means that there's no like central at least for houston it might be different depending on the city but for houston there's no central um electric electricity provider like there are multiple to choose from um and there's a website that you go to power to choose that's what it is power to choose i've been youtubing and googling trying to figure this stuff out it's so complicated it really doesn't make sense that you have to do all this just to get electricity. Um, really quick, I wanted to show you guys one of my biggest distractions, which is floorplanner.com. I hate that I even discovered this when I did, but of course I've been looking into all the fun parts of moving versus like the responsible adult-like things that I should be concerned about. Okay, so here's the um, floor plan from the website, and then look what I did. Look, look at me. Oh, we have a home. I even managed to add some of the kitchen appliances. It's not perfect, not the exact color, but it's as close as I could get. My son licking the trash can. She just stands there and watches and enjoys. <laughs> Jenkins! <laughs> what kind of aunt are you? Y'all, my mother has a knack for yelling at me anytime I'm on the phone. And I'm rarely... <laughs> I'm so rarely on the phone, but it seems like she is really good at knowing to yell my name or say something to me really loud while I'm on the phone, especially if it's not even somebody I really know. The, um, I know, but I was on the phone with the uh, Lisa agent. It was just funny that of all times, it's just funny that of all times, that's when you call me. We just unleash our, our wolves to the to the neighborhood. Where we gonna drink that? Mommy was trying to pop it open yesterday. Alcoholics. I know. And this eighteen hundred ain't talking. Good no. <laughs> I think I think you need buy it. Guys, this is 
Southeastern African sugar. And the color is actually beige because the, it has been like finally separated from the sand in Africa. So like there, you know how you have like sugar cane and stuff? This is actually in the sand. So you lick the sand, it's like a baby bottle pop. <laughs> So India, Indians were the first people to come over here, like a long, long time ago. Native Indians. Americans are not Indians. They were called Indians because Columbus thought that he landed in India. Where were you doing history? Wait, so there there aren't people in um, India that have similar culture to Native Americans? By the way, like, way they dress and stuff? No. So when people are calling Native Americans Indians, it's is it wrong. completely false? Yeah, you ain't know that? Yeah, but I thought it was like Native Americans were here and Indians are there. I ain't going nowhere, Max. Kia's on her rampage about the dishes. I don't know what they gonna do when I leave. I be doing the dishes, I be taking trash out, I be doing all the I ain't work. saying nothing, you know what I'm saying? I have to catch myself, cause I be tripping. But, my point is, early to I I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna say nothing. Cause I don't know what CJ do. I can't wait to hear all about how things are going once I'm gone. <laughs> Shut up. So the other day, uh, when Grandma Shirley cooked the pork chops, when was that? Yesterday or the day before? Daddy's like, Jasmine, help your grandma uh, with these dishes. <gasps> See? And he, he I was doing like, it on purpose. I swear he um, did it. It's not my week. And then he was like, well, I'm just talking about like pouring the grease out in the pan and stuff. So I poured the grease out. <laughs> Y'all know CJ's supposed to be doing the dishes. I ain't about to baby him. That's why it's so bothersome. <laughs> Probably you, cause no, I didn't. Uh -huh. I went to bed, cause I didn't do it. I, oh, looked, at, I looked right at when I got my last pork chop. I looked right at the pan, and it was you and Daddy sitting right there. I was like, I hope they don't say it. Why don't you just go ahead and wash it? <laughs> because don't nobody ever do that I, when, when it's any when it's, it's my week. week it's always Jasmine. Yeah. Sometimes it don't even be my week, and it's like the assumption that it's my week. I'm like, what? I, last well, week was my week. I had the floor. Tell you something, baby. But, it's cause you have a vagina. All the way. Always get the brunt of everything. That's, That's not, not what it is. That's not true. I think I get more of the brunt than anybody. Cause um, I, I cause disagree. Because I, I care. I hear about it the most. I disagree. No, I think. He's saying jazz and jazz. I want you to do so. Everything is jazz and jazz. And jazz I think jazz I get about. the most because I'm the easiest. Like, yeah, I'm more likely. He even said jazz, that. Jazz, he even said that. He was jazz, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. You don't hear. You're not around, but you sleep, but you work or. Well, I had to learn from Key and CJ. They know how to stay out the way. No, too. I don't. But I don't. I mean, not so much now. When I first came here, oh, yeah. I noticed that That's they ain't never. You ain't never see them. Like when I before I even moved here, they was all especially CJ. But CJ yeah. still does that. That's what I'm saying. He be. He I don't know. Get to, he don't have to hear about stuff. For example, I do the trash right. Daddy, what what blows me is like Daddy will be quick to be like, no, you gonna do so and so. But when it comes to CJ and Hope, well, y'all work that out. Like we gotta be the bad guys I know. to make it fair. It's equality at the end of the day. I don't want to be the bad guy saying no, CJ. You need to do the dishes too sometimes I don't because it's not like if we all gotta do something. Who said that we all was stuck in these one row when me and Jasmine have to alternate? And you know? he not gonna. I mean, not but, that sometimes CJ will do it. Like, but you. He ain't gonna do it just like off the yeah, first, yeah. unless he in the mood to. And so he, he not gonna li he gonna listen to daddy a lot faster than he listen. Even when I told him to do something, he was like, "Did daddy say it?" He always do that. So it's like, and then daddy he asked daddy, and daddy be like, "No, I ain't say that. Y'all figure that out." And it's like, well, at least back me up. You kid down here snitching on you. I thought I was a cigarette in your hand. I was about to say. I guess you ain't here. Never mind. All right, y'all, I'm finally getting around to pack. Look at all these clothes and crap just everywhere. It's just a mess. All right, so right now I'm taking this stuff out of my closet and putting it in this bag. For some reason, every time I look at the room, my eyes go to these clothes in this closet. So evidently, I need to get those out the way first. <laughs> news <laughs>
an email from Matches Farm saying that my mattress is not going to arrive when I get the day that I get there, like I asked it to, and that they're pushing it back a whole week. And that makes me feel like I might end up waiting longer than that for this mattress, which is very upsetting. So now I'm trying to decide, should I try to find another one? I spent forever trying to decide on a mattress, y'all. And there is a mattress farm right across the street from where I'm staying. So I could just go in there and maybe pick another one. But if I can actually get it in a week, I'm willing to wait if they can give me a discount. Like knock off a, a smooth hundred. So I basically get free delivery for them to bring it to my door. This looks odd. Yeah, turn it sideways. <laughs> this looks even odder. <laughs> Bump you. It would just be you weird for you me to invite you on a vacation. A vacation? Yeah. Maybe we got bays we could bring too. No, because I, I don't want to do that. Why? See, you see, how, you see how the misogyny oh, and like... How is that mis <laughs> It just trickles down. I know. But then it's I just thought... It's a vacation, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, so you don't want... You want to be more special and like romantic and like... Yeah, it's exclusive. just like me and her. Okay. But in general, if it wasn't like a solo vacation, you wouldn't mind us bringing our base, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got jokes with them? If you don't want to go on vacation with us, just say that. Maybe we want to have a sibling vacation. You leaving, so I don't want to hear nothing that. All the more reason for us to go on a sibling vacation. I'll be close to the next Jazz, let's go ahead and plan our vacation. You don't even love, you don't even love me and kids. Jazz. What? I raised you. You don't even love us. You better leave us. <laughs> don't try to play a joke. Just like leaving you. us in here with him. Dang! Dang! <laughs> oh, you know what a hiccup? A hiccup is like a pointless body function that you use when you're in the womb you're trying to learn how to breathe. And they said, Shut up! If you never practice and you're born, then you will die because you won't ever know how to breathe. All you gotta do is smack a baby butt. This one said, <laughs> <laughs> That's how they be doing that when the baby don't cry, idiot.